Next Hello everybody, this is Daryl Passing Lane Motors and today we're going to show you one of our new arrivals. It's a 1962 Impala. This car is powered by a 327 with a 4 speed behind it. Absolutely stunning car. The upper driver quality paint job, beautiful luster on all panels. Car is completely rust free. It's got very nice all original interior. The only part of the interior has been replaced is the driver's seats have been recovered. Um, as we go underneath the car, the car is super solid underneath. Um, has all original suspension but does have new power disc brakes put on the front. The underside is really nice and clean on this vehicle. Uh, the A-arms are really good. It looks like the ball joints have both been replaced. Both upper and lower ball joints look good on here. Front sway bar, at least one inch in diameter. Looks like an inch and sixteenths sway bar under here. It is a power steering car and now power disc brakes. As we go back, of course, the, the old Impalas have the big X-frame on them. The inner fender wells on here are really nice and solid. The frame is super sharp and really solid underneath this car too. No rust holes, all of the, the dry holes in here to the, the let the vapors out, to let the moisture out of them. No rust showing around those. The support bracket for the transmission is in great shape. Uh, the pan is really dry under here. Uh, we don't, don't look like we got a lot of drips or anything. Now, let me grab this light and we can take you back here. Uh, all the pans appear to be original. We do have a patch right here in this section. Um, looks like they did a nice job though. The patch uh, appears, looks like the original bottom, but I can see where that was welded in. As we move over to the driver's side, this pan appears to be all original over here. No patches, no rust holes. As we go along the pinch welds, the pinch welds are in really solid shape all the way back to the back part of these cars and these were where they were known to get really bad where the pinch welds would hold moisture back here in the back um, so they're really good car has uh, uh, like the old cherry bomb style mufflers it has a great sound on it it is a four speed so it's super fun to drive what a great cruiser uh, this car is an absolute joy to take out and cruise around non air conditioning but we all and we install air here so if you wanted air we could be glad to put it in the car for you has fairly new shocks it's had a sway bar um, added on to the rear suspension, the rear trailing arms. If you look up here to see where the trailing arms are welded into the frame, they're in great shape. The frame itself all the way back to the back, no rust, uh, no pitting, uh, no separations at all. And as you get back to the back, it's got the old Chevy style eight, eight and a half inch rear end in it uh, with the rear sway bar, new shocks. Appears to be original tank, tank doesn't leak. Um, the inner fender wells of the car are still in really good shape. They show some original undercoating. It was probably factory. As you move back to the rear bumper mounts, they're in great shape too. So overall, I give this car a really good grade for its under undercarriage appearance. Um, I know that the car drives super. I've, I've personally driven the car quite a bit, and uh, we've, en we've enjoyed it a bunch. So uh, anyway, this is Daryl, Passing Lane Motors. We're in Fenton, Missouri, and we'd like to... Thank everybody for looking. The emergency brake does work on here, and you can see the cables are still all hooked up. So give us a call. We're in Fenton, just outside of St. Louis, at 636-600-1140. This is on a 1962 SS, real SS, original color colors, black exterior, red interior, uh, SS Impala. So please give us a call. Thank you so much for looking, and have a great day. That's Passing Lane Motors, Fenton, Missouri, 636-600-1140. Thanks a lot, and bye now.